Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I'm waiting for some safety razors to come in to do reviews on them. So to pass the time until then, which is only a few more days they should be here, I'm going to do something that borders on sacrilege, <laughs> which is shave with a multi-blade cartridge razor, which you don't see me doing very often. You know that Geo Fatboy here at ShaveNation.com loves his straight razors and safety razors. I thought I would do a showdown between these two. Some people have requested this Feather F3. They want to see a shave with this razor. And I've never used it. I just took it out of the package. And so I'll do a showdown between the Feather F3 and the Fusion Pro Glide 5 blade. Hey, that may not be fair, but that's what I have. As far as cartridge type razors, I don't have too many. So this is what we're going to do. I'll shave the right side of my face with the three blade Feather F3. And I'll shave the left side with the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Here's a comparison of the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Flex Ball five blade razor versus the Feather F3 three blade razor. The Gillette made in China slash USA, not exactly 100% sure. And the Feather 100% made in Japan. The ProGlide weighs in at 1.9 ounces or 54 grams. And the overall length from the tip of the blade to the end of the handle is just about six inches or 152 millimeters. This is actually a power razor. You can press this button and it vibrates. It has the flex ball, meaning it will move back and forth to fit the contours of your face. Press the button on, press the button off. To replace the battery, unscrew the bottom where it says Gillette and ProGlide and remove the AAA battery Replace it with the positive side going in first, and then reassemble, screwing it clockwise. When the Gillette is even with the button, you know you have it on perfectly straight. It has rubber grooves on the bottom and on the sides, and also on the top here where you grip it and the on off button has a rubber coating over it as well. So it's pretty easy to grip this razor. Micro fins that gently stretch and smooth skin for a close shave. Five anti-friction blades and handle fits all Gillette five blade razor refills excluding Gillette Labs. An enhanced Lubra strip versus Mach 3 with more lubricants to add comfort and glide. Flex ball technology that responds to contours and gets virtually every hair. A precision trimmer on the back for hard to reach places and styling. To remove the blade, press on the orange ball. Your thumb fits right in that opening. It pops right out. To reinstall the blade, just push it right back in until it clicks. It's a nice black rubber and polished chrome type finish. Now here's a look at the Feather F3 razor. This is a three blade razor. It is the same weight as the Fusion Pro Glide, weighing in at 1.9 ounces or 54 grams. The overall length from top to bottom is 5.5 inches or 140 millimeters. It comes with a protective cover over the blade that you can remove, like so. Three blades. Innovative 3D pivoting head allows the razor to move smoothly over the contours of the face. Wavy guard reduces pressure on the skin. Suspension on each blade to ride smoothly over the skin. SIC ceramic coating technology offers durability and comfortable shave. Reduces irritation and razor burns. This razor has a very substantial rubber coated grip just about all over the handle. And it's narrow in the middle, widens up on both sides. It is very comfortable to grip. I would give this the edge over the Fusion Pro Glide as far as grip. Even with wet fingers, this should be very easy to grip. To remove the blade, push the black button at the top. The claws open up and the blade releases. To reinstall, push the button. 
the claws open up, drop the blade in, it locks in place. It's a nice chrome and black rubber finish. 100% made in Japan. Just a couple things I noticed after picking both of these up. The Fusion is a tad bit longer, not much, quarter, a half an inch longer. And you can see the difference in the blade. The F3 blade is shorter than the Fusion blade. Each one of these razors comes with one blade preloaded in the razor and an additional backup blade in the package. So two blades complete with the Feather F3 and the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. The Fusion has power, press the button right there, and it vibrates. If that makes a difference, don't know, we'll see. And, and the F3 does not have power. So let's do a shave with these. Uh, anything else I could add? Let me think. Nope, that's about it. Oh, this the best part of this razor, I'll tell you right now, on the tip right here is the precision trimmer, which you can use under your nose, sideburns, beard, whatever, for some really close trimming, and it gets into that area under your nose really nicely. So whether you shave with a cartridge razor, safety razor, straight razor, doesn't matter. Uh, that will You can use this to trim under your nose, which is sweet. The F3 does not have that feature. So Gillette wins on that portion of the contest. We, we actually carry the F3. And by the way, we'll put links under the video. So if you want to pick these up, you can just pick them up down there. Just click on the link where it says show more or go to shavenation.com and you can get whatever you need right there. As far as the Gillette, we won't be selling that because we checked into it and you have to buy a semi-load trailer, a 40-foot trailer of Procter & Gamble, which is the owner of Gillette, in case you didn't know. You have to buy a 40-foot trailer of their products to be able to carry these. That's what I was told. So if I were to buy these, you know, I could buy a hundred or a few hundred of these, and they would be in a box about this big, right? But the rest of the semi-trailer would probably be filled with paper towels or something like that. So that's not going to happen. <laughs> we, I can't use that many paper towels in my lifetime. So I'll perform a shave with the Feather F3 right side of my face, the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide 5 blade on the left side. And we'll use the power feature, why not? And I know it may not be a fair comparison, three blades against five, but we'll see if five blades are really better than three blades. We already know that one blade is best, but we're going to see how three and five compare. So what I'll use today, I'll do a quick face lathering with the Ogallala Bay Rum and Sweet Orange Shaving Soap Stick right here. I'll show you how to use that. These are great for travel. It's got this nice container. And when you're done, you just put the cap back on, throw it in your dop case, and you're ready to be on your way, which is nice. I'll use Ogallala Bay Rum Aftershave Spray. I'll use this Omega for Parasso Bore Brush to lather it up on my face. The Feather F3 comes in this clamshell case right here. And as far as the ProGlide case, a couple of them showed up at my door maybe a year ago. And I think I threw the cases out and just took the razors. So I can't show you that case. I don't have it. But it's a similar case. It's a clamshell type case like this. I'll fill up my marble cup with some hot water. The Omega 4 Parasso bore brush right here. That's what it looks like when it's dry. Let's drop it in. Soaks up a little bit of the water. You can hear some bubbles there. Now it's saturated. That's what it looks like. So we'll let that soak for a few minutes. I'll wet my face with some hot water and we'll get right to the shave. Whew, that's hot, as Paris Hilton would say. Let's remove the cap from the Ogallala Bay Rum, sweet orange. Spin the knob and raise it up a little bit. Wet it under the hot water. And just massage that right into your beard. I've got about three days worth of beard growth here, so we can see if these razors can actually handle it. These travel sticks, they come in many different brands, scents, flavors, as you call it. They're really nice for travel use. Just like that, you wanna saturate your beard with the soap, and then you'll work it in with the brush. A little more hot water. Kind of fun to do it this way. It's a departure from bowl brush mixing lather. Okay, I think we've got it saturated well. Let's remove the brush from the water. Give it a couple shakes, pour out the water. 
shaking out most of the water. Okay, now we work it in. You can see how it starts to foam up, starts turning into a lather. A little bit more hot water. Just work it in. This brush is a little bit scratchy and stiff, so it's very easy to work the soap into a, a nice lather. The more water you add, the thinner you can make the lather. You just want to cover up all the areas you intend to shave. And I think we got it. So we went from a soap to a nice lather. What do we do now? Clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. Okay, here's a look. The Feather F3 and the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Showdown. We'll see which performs better. I'll shave the right side with the F3. Here we go. Start at the sideburn. It takes quite a bit to get through it. A lot of strokes. My safety razor would have been right through this already. There's some stubble and cream on there. Let's rinse it. You do have to apply pressure to make this work. Especially in my resistant areas. Rinse that. Down the neckline. Does take some doing. So you kind of guess at the sideburn here because you don't really have a perfect straight edge like you do with a safety razor. Mustache. It does get under the nose nicely because it's very contoured and tapered down at the end there. Okay, there you go. F3. Pretty smooth after the first pass. Not not perfect, but it did take quite a bit to get there. This is my best Too Faced from Batman right here. Okay, now the Fusion Pro Glide. Let's turn it on. Press the button so she vibrates. And then with this, we'll use the Precision Trimmer right here. We can cut the sideburn like so, which is pretty nice. Okay, and now we flip to the blade side. Again, takes a while to get through it. Lots of stubble on there. Let's rinse. My resistant area. You really have to do it several times in the same spot to get it to cut through. Down the neckline. Could probably do this in at least half the time with a safety razor. It would cut through a lot faster. Mustache. Ooh, it really pulls and tugs. You can really feel it pulling. It actually hurts a bit, that pulling. Okay, oh, I still feel the stubble here. Turn off the razor. Let me rinse off and we'll do one more pass. Now you can just apply a bit more with the uh, shaving soap stick.
You may not see it, but it's there. And we still have our brush, which has shaving soap on it. So we'll lather it up again. Figure eight. Clear the runways again. Now we'll go against the grain. The first pass was from the top down. Now we'll go from the bottom up. Still takes more than it would with a safety. Let's rinse that. This doesn't have the tremor, so we'll just get close this way. Okay, done with the F3. All right, here we go with the Fusion Pro Glide. Let's turn it on. really pulls and tugs through my resistant area right here. The safety razor would slice right through it. Whew. You could even hear it. Let me shut it off for a second. Here. Okay, let's rinse. Now the mustache. Now we can turn it off. Let's use the precision trimmer, which to me the best part of this razor under the nose. Sideburns. You can even it up with this. And if you have any other facial hair, you can trim it with that as well. All right, let's clean this cleft. Now I'll perform a final rinse with hot, then cold water. Now let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, remove the cap, raise it up a little bit, soak it under the cold water, and just glide that all around the areas you just shaved. Get a little bit of stinging from just going over the same area many, many times. This is a nice finish to the shave, seals off your pores, and if you did get any little micro nicks or weepers as they're called, this will seal them off. Give you some feedback on your shave. So let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. Let's apply some Ogallala Bay Rum aftershave. I'll just spray it into my hand. Excellent. Little bit of sting. Smells fantastic. Ogallala is one of uh, my favorite bay rums. It's been around for a long time. And they have many different scents of bay rum. Very nice finish to the shave. Okay, as you can see, I went from two or three day beard growth to pretty smooth right here. I'm baby smooth on the cheeks. Neck is good. Under the nose, it does take some doing. Shaving with a cartridge razor as opposed to shaving with a safety razor, there is quite a difference. The cartridges, you need to apply pressure 
and really like bear down on it to get it to cut through that beard and go over the same area three, four, five, six times in order to remove the beard growth. With the safety razor, it slices right through. I'll put a link where I've done a comparison of safety razor to cartridge type razor and you'll see the difference. You can check out that video. I'll also put some other links up here along the way too. All right, so you saw the video, you saw the shave. Which one do you think won out? Feather F3, Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Which one do you think performed better? Comment down below, let me know. We'd all like to hear. The cartridge portion of the blade, the part that actually shaves your face, it is actually the same size on both of these razors. But the Fusion has a little more plastic on both of the outside ends here. The F3 is more compact. It has that vibration. I don't know if that made a difference or not, but it seemed to maybe cut through just a little bit easier than the F3. Could be the three blade to five blade difference. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on cartridge razors. So I, you know I'm a big fan of the safety razors. So if you want to pick up any of these, not the Gillette, but any of the other ones, just click below the video where it says show more and you can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com Enter whatever you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. And the Ogallala Bay Rum shaving soap stick, great for travel, many different scents. Smells so good you almost want to take a bite out of it, but don't. And then the aftershave, time tested, Ogallala been around for a long time. One of the best Bay Rums out there. Comes in this really cool medicinal type blue bottle as well. And then the Omega for Parasso shaving brush. You can mix up a lather with soap, cream, whatever. Basically really good on hard soaps, but as you saw no problem mixing up the lather from the shaving soap stick on my face Wide stick alum block excellent finish to the shave right there I think that about covers it I would say one plus to a cartridge razor is the fact that you don't have to worry about what blade to use Like the safety razor, you know, I prefer a feather blade, which is right here There are hundreds of different types of double edge blades to choose from so you know, you always have that dilemma. What blade am I going to choose today? What will I shave with today? Well, with your cartridge, you know what you're going to be using. So it can get boring after a while. If you want to see safety razors or straight razors in action, check out some of my 300 plus other videos on YouTube. And please do me a favor before I go, click that subscribe button and then click the bell and then click all. So you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fatboy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.